the WHO estimates that there will be only about 15% uh, of the po uh, population aged 14 or below, and almost one third will be the elderly in China by 2050. Hmm. Well, that's all we have to say about the causes of China aging population. So just to summarize, the main causes of the problem were 1. China's policy of encouraging more birth in 1950s and early 60s. 2. The introduction of policies that favor smaller families, such as the one-child policy. And 3. The social phenomena of dank couples. Is that right? Exactly. Now we have an idea of how uh, of the problems. Thomas is going to show us uh, some of the possible solutions. That's right. First, I am going to briefly talk about the effects of the aging population and then share some of the solutions which scholar and policy advisor have proposed. So, as a paper by Bannister and colleagues from 2010 shows, one of the first effects is a neighbor shortage in China. The WHO estimates that there will be only about 15% of the population aged 14 or below and almost 30% elderly in China by 2050. So for a quick recap, can anybody tell me that what the three major issues I mentioned were? New one child policy? Yes, uh, government policies which limited fertility. But what came before that? Baby boomers? Yes, the growth in the population because of government population policy. Can anyone remember the third point? Think? Yes, the changes in Chinese society. So people are having children later and later. Good, those were the main points from my parts uh, of the presentation. Wayne is now going to come and provide some information on the possible solution. Thank you, Robert. First, I'm going to briefly talk about the effects of the aging population, and then share some of the solutions which scholars and policy advisors have proposed. So, as a paper by Bannister and colleagues from 2010 shows, one of the first effects is the labor shortage in China.